In today's video, we're checking out the Eureka Fuzz Pedal from Jam Pedals. This is handmade in Greece from one of the premier pedal builders over there. And while it looks all cutesy, you can get a great mix of tones, anything from the Albert King lead tone through to the John Mayer rhythm tones for something like Crossroad, for example, and then all the way into Crazy Fuzz territory. So this really does pack a wallop when you start winding the gain control up. We get three main controls, tone, level, and gain. The more you turn it up, the more you're gonna get of each. And we also get this three-way toggle switch on the top here. In the center, it's in the neutral position. Left is more bass, and right is more bass again. You get just a massive wallop of low end through your signal. So this is great if you wanna fatten out single coils, for example. In this intro track, you're gonna hear a mix of positions with the toggle switch. I hope you like this video. A massive thank you to Jam Pedals for sending this out for the review. If you wanna check it out, Links will be below. Here we go. Let's kick it off in today's video. I'm playing my Fender American Original 50 Stratocaster going into the clean channel of my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amp. And this is how that sounds with the pedal currently off on neck pickup, volume and tone all the way up. All right, nice clean tone. Pedal on with the toggle switch in the center, which isn't adding any extra low end. And basically everything else is at 12 o'clock. Here we go. That sounds cool. Now, if we go over to bridge, I want to show you what the toggle switch does because it adds so much extra low end. So, bridge pickup. To the left, which adds a little bit of extra low end. And to the right, which adds even more. Here we go. That's huge. <laughs> if we go back to the center position, you'll hear a massive difference. So it's not even close. If you want to fatten out your low end, you can do that either by pushing it to the left, which gives you a far more usable low end, or if you just want to go crazy and your amp lacks a lot of low end, you can switch it to the right. Up next, we're checking out the gain control on the pedal, and I've currently got it all the way down, and the toggle switch is sent to the center position. Have a listen to this on neck pickup, you still get just a little bit of that off clean sound. About nine o'clock. Yeah. Twelve. Thank <laughs> you. 
So as you can hear, if you max it out, it gets really, really crazy. Now, a lot of folks will love that sound. For me, the maximum gain would be at around three o'clock or so. I think it sounds really musical right about here. <laughs> All right, let's try it now with some humbuckers. Thanks to my PRS SE Custom 24. I'm gonna take a look at the tone control. Again, I've got the toggle switch in the center for this particular test. Let's give it a shot. Neck pickup. Up next, I've got it dialed in for a really great rhythm guitar sound. And what we're gonna do now is mess around with the gain level and tone control. The toggle switch is to the left, and I think this sounds pretty great. Have a listen. So with the toggle switch to the right, especially with humbuckers, it's a little bit much, but to the left, man, what a tone. That sounds really, really great. Woo. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane, a massive thank you to Jam Pedals for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about it. So. If you know the channel, you know I'm probably not the biggest Fuzz fan out there, but what I do like is Albert King's tone. And his tone has this kind of squishiness to it that really sounds great in the mix. And the cool thing about this is if you're a traditional blues player and you love that kind of tone, you can get that out of this, or you can go all the way through to the John Mayer Crossroads kind of tone, all the way through to crazy Fuzz distortion. So overall, I think it's a really versatile pedal. If you're looking for a Fuzz that can cover just about everything, this would be a no-brainer. One of the best things about this pedal, without question, is the three-way toggle switch. Being able to fatten out single coil pickups, P90s for example, or humbuckers, is really, really cool. Now, just to let you know though, if you do have it on the right position of the toggle switch, it's a little bit too much for a lot of humbucker guitars out there. So keep that for the single coils or whatever you so choose to use it with. If you've got a guitar that needs a little bit of extra oomph, that would be the position to leave it in. It's quite amazing how much extra low end gain you get when you click that switch even to the left and then to the right, you're getting even more. So it's a very functional pedal, very versatile. If you wanna find out more about it, links will be below. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.